Thanks for being patient everyone, we were videotaping that, so um, we have not come around every 20 minutes, which is probably go anywhere.
Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Julia and the team from Pweepy Doll, and we are testing out what going live on YouTube means if you've never done it before. But it's just so stunningly beautiful midway through our uh, September painting retreat that we wanted to show you guys right now before we have to sit down and edit for weeks to make it beautiful for you. Um, the really exciting thing today is that Joanna Spinks, our instructor, has actually put together the most beautiful still life setup called the Lady of the Chateau at her boudoir. And it's just the items on her vanity. And so we've put together a perfume bottle and pearls and gloves, and it's just gorgeous. So go to our Instagram page, which is at Lady of the Chateau on Instagram. And we've posted images of the setup and we're live there as well as here so that you can actually watch her paint this setup. And if you are artists out there, or even if you've never picked up a pencil or a brush before, why don't you give it a, a try? It's a beautiful way of connecting from around the world to kind of connect to our 13 artists here today. They're all doing various setups in the Grand Salon, but many of them are painting this Lady of the Chateau Boudoir. And anything that you create from this setup, you should send us either via Instagram, YouTube, email, whatever it is, and we will share it with the world on our social media platforms. And very excitingly, Joanna is actually gonna judge the submissions and award a winner. And we have a very special surprise for the recipient of the, the winning prize. So this is a really, really fun way to collapse time and space and all kind of come together and focus on this beautiful concept of the Lady of the Chateau around which our whole painting retreat is based. Every day there's different setups based on what the Lady of the Chateau might have done. So today it's the boudoir and the artists are actually doing some critique right now. Should we go check and walking around, but we don't wanna <laughs> cramp their style too much by showing the critique because they're each trying to learn and grow. But as soon as they kind of settle back into painting, we're gonna go in there and show you what they're doing and then show you Joanna actually continuing her setup. And um, we're right in the art studio here today, and we worked really hard to clear out our, our work space, our uh, office. office. Yeah. It is now art studio mode, and it's been so fun to watch them use this, to get paint on things, to watch their work develop through the week. And earlier I was kind of quietly showing you the progression of everyone's work, and they've only been here two days, and the progress is unbelievable. Unbelievable. This one I love. It's the urns out in front of Cleavy Doll, and they're absolutely stunning. It's just kind of these beautiful brush strokes, impressionist. Huh? Wow. Love it, love it, love it. This is just incredible. Progress. Oh, there's one, Bia. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Our, our cleaning lady is saying hello. She told me it's lunchtime. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh. Okay, Caroline's gonna keep showing you around and she'll wait till critiques stop on the art and then she'll sneak back in there and let you guys watch. Wait, you're gonna go through the. Lunches have been delicious this week. It's been a lot of fresh, delicious foods, lentil salads, uh, just because it's been really unseasonably hot. So we're trying to hydrate everyone and keep them cool. But it's good, better sun than rain. Right? That's true. This is Terry, one of us. Hi. Hello. And then we did this little particular setup. Bring all the tables inside to give people shelter. All right, I'm gonna pop into the back. I'll Bye. show you guys around. Bye. A lot of the artists have been finding all of the artwork at Quibiel inspiring as they take tackle the week. There's oh, Olivia. Grand Salon, I mean the uh, formal dining room, which we used yesterday for some beautiful setups. Hello, San Diego. Oh, 
me give you this view here. And then we're going to take a quick peek at what the artists are coming up with today. And there they are. Yes. Oh, yes. I really consider that is a sharp. Quite strong. Yeah, very, very, right. very, very, very uh, that'll be. That's the starfish. Uh, that's, that's why I'm trying to yeah. just get that, soften all that down. Yeah. Even more so, probably. Yeah. Maybe even give it a little more of a wash and then, you yeah, know, make that real pop this real Yeah, that's the star. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. When you get that. Yeah. Yeah, good job. And as that so table goes back and you work it up a little more, just soften that back line too. Yes. It's a yes. Yes. receding line. Sure. Sure. Um, okay. But I like the sort of, uh, you know, the shattery feel you've got going there. It's very pleasant. Hey Mike, how's it going? How's your processing going today? Well, and I journal first. Fantastic. And then I block, and I'm blocking a little bit in color just to keep proportion. So okay. um, I think in about 30 minutes, it'll get the image. So, well, don't yeah. have to hurry. Sorry. Any questions? Right now, no. You're good. Thanks. Okay. I'm good, thank you so much. You're welcome. Here. How's it going? The top part's looking marvelous. Thank you. Wow. I'm having a hard time with the glass, but I think it's looking a better. Okay, so when you do glass, you've got to lay in the undercolors first, okay? Okay. So you're going to paint everything but the glass, okay? So this, if anyone wants to know how to paint glass, we're doing it right now. Oh. So glass is see through, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to see this through it, mm -hmm. right? You're going to see, if I squint, where the brandy finishes, that is the value of the jacket, right? Yes. That's what you paint first. And then you're going to paint the color of the brandy. After. First. 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 The glass goes over, the glass painting goes over the objects that are coming through it. Glass is transparent, it's see-through. So you're painting the see-through first. Mm. Make sense? Okay. And then you get your palette knife and you slowly, I'm doing glass over there actually, and um, you paint the under bit first and then you slowly build up your glass, which I can help you with once you get to putting on the glass, but that comes last. Yeah. So is there, um, so I don't have to keep the edges wider and define, I can just go right across this, like this is to me, it's all black. So well, let's look at that back. a second, because the, the, the fabric that's coming through the glass is a, just a tad lighter in mm -hmm. value than the fabric of the actual jacket. Okay. Right, do you see that? Yes. Because the glass is creating a little bit of a value yeah, jump, yeah. a tiny value jump, but a grayed down version mm -hmm. of this color, right? Mm -hmm. So try and get that in. It certainly wouldn't be a disaster if you just pulled this down and then put a brandy color in. Um, and bearing in mind that this stem is the color of the books first, mm -hmm. and then the glass goes on top of that color because the stem is reflecting the book color. So maybe I should do the book first. Yeah. And yeah. Start there and then come back. To yeah. This. And when you get to, if you need a hand, let me know. This is fabulous. Thank what you. I would do here is, um, to me, this is the star of the show. I think you you might think it's that, but I think this is just lovely. I like how you've kept some of the see-through texture of the canvas there. I would just really put a nice blackish blue stronger line there to bring that hat even more forward and bring it out just a little bit more. And the same with that rim there. I'd really play that up. Yeah. Especially as this is in the foreground of your painting. This is further back, right? Yes. So, yeah, it's very nice. You did a really nice job. I love how you crop that uh, crop, <laughs> whatever it's called, <laughs> the riding crop. A bin. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's really a, a very nice composition. That that makes me excited about painting. Looking at that. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
It's, it's different. It's a little bit not what you're expecting. I would love that. Do the... Just don't ruin it now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> now we've got you this far. <laughs> what color is Hello. 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 How are you doing? I think I'm doing okay. What do you think? What do, what do you need to do? Think with this bottom of the glass, I'm getting a little... Mm, yeah, with the same thing here. with you with the glass. I mean, that's a very, very complicated thing to paint there. So you're going to have to push the uh, back bottles back. Yeah. Make that uh, first glass, front glass, you start the show, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, the front brandy glass, the brandy will be sharper, clearer, uh, higher, saturated, blah, blah, blah. The cap to cap is going back, will be a little push back. Yeah. Um, I would say quite a lot of pushback. Yeah, I'm going to kind of ghost. ghost. Yeah, exactly, yeah. ghost, and that's exactly right. That's a good way to describe it. I think your um, silver platter holding the decanters is a little, I just think that's a little too detailed right now. Okay. Um, or maybe the black holes are just too black, and you could maybe deal that with that a bit too, later. Yeah. I was going to blur that out more yeah. when yeah. I get the bottles. But my so eye is going right to that, is I it? guess, because okay. there's a light and a dark, and there's a pattern. Yeah. You know, there's a light next to a dark. So let's Take fuse that out. out a little bit, um, and let's see what else. I might be tempted to the decanter to the right-hand side, Terry. Mm -hmm. I might be tempted just to completely take that out of the canvas. Oh, say bye-bye. Well, okay. just, just have it so you've got kind of this, because actually that's what it is. So this, you, you've got it there, but you just don't see the top of it at all. So you, I bring it up a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. okay. I see you. what you're saying. It's I thought you were saying get rid of the whole thing. No, because okay. these two are on the same level, yeah. which is not ideal composition. Well, it's, I, I thought I had that one higher. Okay, I'll just make this a couple or two. I thought I was trying to get an angle, and I just... I, right. I have to turn that upside down <laughs> so I get that straight again. But yeah, this is meant to be higher than that one. Right. Yeah, you don't, you want things on the sort of... Yeah. And I'm not going to keep this element right here, even with the edge of the glass either. Right. That's got to go away. Books are nice. What do you have to do with the foreground? Um, I was going to do the marble, but just simplify it. But, um, you know, this is... Oh, I see. That's a reflection yeah. of the book. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's a little confusing to me. No, shadow of the top book, reflection of the, the foot, reflection of the foot. Okay. Got it. I know it's still off, but it's. Okay, so your car shadow is actually from the book. It's actually the finished field. If this is a reflection, is it, that's just the shadow cast by the book? Just going to have a cough, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just <coughs> All right, guys. So we're going to have lunch now. So we're going to set up. Um, we're going to cut. For those of you asking to turn it, um, sorry, horizontally, we can't. Uh, YouTube Live just locks it in portrait mode. So maybe we could try to figure something out how to do it differently. I'm so sorry. That's all all we got for now. Anyway, we'll be back after lunch and we'll uh, show you the rest of the artwork that's being done.